Okay, so here we are. It's a beautiful sunny day. And Damon has just spent two or three days working on this very nice Burstner Elegance. Where is it? There it is. It's so sunny and so bright. Excuse the quality of this video because it's just oh, baking. Right, Damien, let's have a look inside. Can you lift up the lift up the seat? Mm -hmm. And let's have a look at what you've done in here. Okay, so we've got a 150 amp hour three-line lithium battery, which works with that NDS3 link. That's what puts the charge into the battery from the starter battery, make sure everything works correctly. We've got an NDS 1500 watt pure sine inverter. And for when the vehicle's on mains hookup, which really it doesn't probably need to be, we've got a Votronic 20 amp mains charger. Not a lot to see. Oh, there you go. And next to it, a Votronic solar regulator. Now all these products are working together to make sure that the lithium battery is fully charged at all times. And the problem with demonstrating lithium batteries is that they are is that they almost always are fully charged. So as you can see on the display here, state of charge is 94%. And to try and bring the battery down a bit, I've put an induction hob on, connected it up, and this is actually running from the inverter. So from the battery. Oh blimey, it's boiling. I'm going to have to put some more water in. So the reason for doing this is to try and discharge the battery a bit so that we can demonstrate... Uh, I want to demonstrate the solar panels to you. So at the moment we've got... We're pulling 79.7 .7 amps. State of charge is 93%. We're actually taking a little bit too much out of the battery because it is only a 1500 watt inverter. So anyway, there's the control panel. That's the remote control for the inverter. You just turn, turn that off now, Damien, please. So right now we can see that it's off. Okay, so you can see how... 7.2 amps coming out of the battery. Oh, I've got all the lights turned on, haven't we? Turn yeah. the lights off. Okay, very shortly, because you should see a positive amount of energy going into the battery. There you go, 11, 12 amps, 13 amps, 14 amps, 15 amps, 15 amps. Now the battery is still 93% full at 93% state of charge so there's not an awful lot of energy needs to go into the battery and that Votronic regulator the solar regulator is actually making sure that it doesn't get too much of a charge in there but what we're going to do now is go up a ladder which is right here and we're going to take a look at the solar panels now when you install solar panels on a motorhome, you can either kind of just do it the easy way, um, which often isn't very neat and tidy. As you can see, look at this. I mean, what is that? This is the cable running from the solar panel to a cable entry box here. So that's one way. I don't think that's particularly neat. Or you can do it our way and you can fit two very nice 180 watt black solar panels. Now these solar panels have a really high efficiency of approaching 20%, which is much higher than most solar panels. They're from NDS, they're called Black Solar. And for some reason they're very, very popular in Scandinavia. I think it's partly because they have a lot of sun up there. But... Um, it's kind of low on the horizon often, so you need good panels to get a good charge into the battery. And there, you can see, this, uh, this is where the cable goes. You can't actually see it going into the vehicle. It's somewhere underneath there. Damien won't tell me. But that is a neat 
installation, uh, particularly when you compare it to that installation. But hey, there you go. So I'm going to go back down the ladder. In all the brightness there, it really is so bright. It's this day in July, 31st of July, hottest day on record. It's like 130 degrees or something. And I couldn't actually see the screen, so I appeared to have switched the camera off by mistake. But I was saying, in order to encourage fellow road users to actually get out of the way of this magnificent motorhome, the owner wanted us to install a little bit of an extra. Uh, oh, that's loud enough, isn't it? What do you think? That'll do it. Oh, sorry, neighbours. Anyway, there you go. That was just a little <laughs> bit of excitement at the end of a fairly routine lithium install. And we think the owner is going to be very happy indeed. If he doesn't, I'm sure he'll let us know. But he will be. That's it. I'll go back inside.